Today's performance features a sustainable odyssey, 2001 years old. In 8 AD, Publius Ovidius Naso completed his great work, Metamorphoses, Changes. Metamorphoses is an epic poem written in dactylic hexameter, the grand style of classical times. It was published as 15 books in length, over 600 pages. As our most complete reference for Greek and Roman mythology, Metamorphoses would always have been important, but Ovid was a master, a master poet, a master storyteller, a master muser on life's most enduring theme, change. Metamorphoses has inspired art, theater, and music, from wandering minstrels and troubadours to Chaucer, Botticelli, Marlowe, Milton, Mozart, and Joyce, as well as Benjamin Britten, whose works are being performed, and other poets such as Ted Hughes, from whom there are six selections today. Today's exploration began at the request of the director of the City of London Festival, Ian Ritchie, who had the idea to combine a collage from four years of Gresham College lectures on sustainability with music and graphics as part of the sustain segment of the festival. Change challenges mankind constantly, from natural disasters and diseases to social upheaval and disorder to science and technology. The only constant is change. Ovid's masterpiece was written in a time of change. He was born into a republic and died in an empire. Over the two millennia since Ovid wrote, perhaps the biggest changes to our world. Ovid's poems play out in a world of sylvan shade, of babbling brooks, of lavish landscapes, and of perilous peaks, a world of nature. Today, we live in a world compressed by our own expansion. The terrible beauty of change inspires the wonder of scale changes. Scale changes are my phrase for a zen-like moment of enlightenment. You delight in changing scale when you move from believing that some carnival magician is just sleight of hand to the idea that perhaps, just perhaps, he or she is deploying genuine magic. You delight in changing scale when you move from the wind-in-the-face acceleration of a roller coaster at a fairground to staring at a rattling bolt inside the coaster with the terrifying realization that some overworked carnival employee bolted it all together last night. 